Hello, Slicey Dicers. How's everybody doing this evening? Make sure my computer is muted so I don't hear myself talking. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for coming out on May 17th of 2020. Hope everybody's having a good weekend, staying safe, all that kind of stuff. I've had a pretty good weekend. I actually got to go on stage last night, which I uh, didn't think that was going to happen anytime soon. It was different. It was a drive-in, so... Uh, I couldn't, I could only hear a few people laughing. A few people uh, disobeyed the rules and kept their windows down. So I could hear them laughing. So that was cool. But it was fun to be back on stage. And uh, by the way, that was a fundraiser for uh, local doctors and nurses here. We're going to buy some food through Tony D's, an amazing restaurant here in Rochester, and uh, distribute free meals just by a surprise. We're just going to deliver some free meals to some local hospitals for them through uh, Tony D's. And uh, if you guys want to see me do stand-up, you always ask about it. If you want to see me do stand-up that's very well shot and sounds amazing but is weird because you don't hear laughter, uh, there is a link down below. So go check that out. I'm from minutes like 23 to 38 or something like that. If you want to skip ahead to me, I won't, I, I'll be fine with that. Uh, but uh, all the other comedians were very funny as well, so watch everybody. Um, it is, uh, Greg Owens, Sarah Shipley, myself, and Todd Youngman in that order. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. It was different, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, we're doing another one in a couple weeks. I don't know if I'm on it or not, but, um, yeah, it's a, it was a lot of fun and for a good cause. If you want to go down and watch that down below, there will be, uh, there will be, uh, uh, links to the Venmo and stuff. You can still contribute to that if you want to. If you enjoy the show, you like it and want to kick in, you know two, three, four bucks, whatever, goes to help out doctors in our in our local area. And Rochester isn't a hot spot for COVID, but uh, we're not doing awesome at it either. So uh, they're going to be working a whole lot. So, And my wife's on. I'm going to show the beer and then I'm going to talk. Uh, my wife is on here for a specific reason. So uh, I want to uh, want to get to her to talk. Hey, Chad, what's up? Uh, back to the Bitburger tonight. Ironically, I get my Bitburger from a local... Mexican restaurants, <laughs> because uh, you can get beer to go when you order food, and we ordered food on Friday night, and it was delicious. John's Tex-Mex, if you are ever in in the, the Rochester area, highly recommend them. Definitely, I would say, our family's favorite restaurant. My wife is on here, so she can back me up on that. I think as a whole, the overall family, it's our favorite place. I'm up to 77 already. Awesome. So, yeah, my wife wanted to pop on to say thank you to something Zach already alluded to, um, and Justin. Uh, thank you guys so much for buying so many masks. That is amazing. She's donating all of the, all of the, the money to, um, to, uh, Feed America. So, Feeding America. So, that's great. Every bit of it's going to them. And, uh. I say thank you, but also, uh, guys, I, I would like my wife back. <laughs> She's just been sewing masks like crazy for the last three, but well, for the last like week and a half. Um, so yes, uh, she is taking a pause. The, uh, the store is on vacation for a week while she catches up on orders and stuff like that. And, um, her work is getting ready to reopen and it's going to be an intense work week for her. So we are She's putting everything on pause for, for a week, and then she'll be back at it. So um, I think it was a week, right? I think that's what she said. Just taking a short break to catch up and catch up on a real job and all that. But um, um, yeah, but the masks are really cool. I wear them all the time. So, uh, I mean, not now. I mean, I'm in my house, but you know what I mean. Uh, no, they're great. And she has some new fabric choices available, too. So um. When they are back up, there's going to be some other really cool stuff. Uh, you can post the link, Lori, and I'll approve it. It will block it, and then I'll just I just have to click approve. Um, thanks, Zach. I really appreciate it. Thank you for yeah. The super chat is open. I always forget to mention that the super chat is open. So uh, feel free to kick in a few shekels to the channel if you want to. I know what a lot of you guys are on here for is we do have an auction going up tonight. I am going to be auctioning off this hinderer. XM18 Skinny Skinner. It's the USA Made Blade exclusive. Um, why am I auctioning it off? Well, two reasons. One, and primarily it's a nice thing to do for knife rights.org. 
if you guys don't know about knife rights, see you later, Lori. Um, uh, if, if you don't know about knifrights.org, it's, uh, Doug Ritter's organization. They do a whole lot of really great stuff for us, fighting for our rights to carry whatever knives we want to. Because knives aren't weapons, they're tools, and we get un unfairly, you know, pigeonholed in uh, being weapons in a lot of states. So it's a great cause. Uh, I will say, just being completely upfront, um, I'm not giving 100% to knife rights. I did purchase this with my own money. But that said, of course, through this place and through Knives Illustrated and stuff, I don't always pay retail. So I have, this This retails for uh, 425 I paid 350 for it. That's what I want back. Anything above and beyond that goes, goes straight to, uh, to knifrights.org. And I'm going to donate it through their current, uh, Ultra Steel or whatever it's called. Uh, I have it open here. Their, their contest they have going on. Somebody correct me about that. That they have a whole bunch of giveaways going on. So I'm going to donate all that. It'll come from my PayPal. So it'll probably have my name on it. But if I do manage to win anything, that also is going to get passed on to whoever bought the knife. I'm not going to keep it. So that'll go on to you. And if it passes 500, I'm going to also throw in the grayscale that I don't have yet, it's going to arrive tomorrow that uh, is coming with my replacement XM18 skinny. So you'll get both the green and the gray if it passes 500 because it's about what the combined prices of the two things are. So um, it went through Metal Complex and myself. That's why I got a good deal on it. Uh, but you're not going to be able to tell that anybody used it. It's absolutely completely like brand new. So I'm going to start the bidding on that at 830 it's what I usually do. It is not a COVID edition, unfortunately. No, this was before that. This is one from the very first batch when they made. So it is not a Rick hand Rick Hinder assembled COVID edition. It's just a regular one. Hey, Okan, how's it going? But uh, I'm going to, uh, I'll start the bidding um, at, uh, at 8.30 on that one. And then you get to hear the weird auctioneer voice again, which will be fun because I've been told to stop talking so much because I have... Uh, swollen gland in my under my chin because I've been talking too much the last several days but it'll still be good <laughs> much for the med for scales BD says no yes I do finally own a Medford and I love it it's very great this is the uh, slim midi with a DLT trading exclusive one with the S90V and the flame anno and I actually was on the phone with uh, Greg Medford the other night and um because when I first got it in trade, you know, some of the paperwork was missing. It's gone through a couple people before it got to me. So I wanted to verify it was real. And he was like, oh, no, I, I remember making that one. Nope, that one was a pain in the ass. I definitely remember it. Like, he remembered the exact knife. And I did find it in the archives of DLT trading. And the picture matched. Like, all the flame and everything even matched. So I knew it was real and all that stuff. I didn't think the guy was trying to rip me off. But sometimes people get fakes. And I just wanted to make sure before I sent him the knife I traded for it. Um. Uh, but it's great. Here is one uh, one question I have for other Medford people on here. Because um, someone asked me, and I I don't know because I can't take this apart. Because you can't take hinders apart. They have the proprietary tool, and it violates the warranty and all that. What are the washers in here? Are they Teflon, or are they uh, phosphor bronze? I was on the phone with Greg. I could have asked him, and I have a call schedule with him for Wednesday. But um, I can find out then. But if somebody knows... What kind of washers does he use? Because it's such tight tolerances. I even with the flashlight, I can't really tell. Are they phosphor bronze? They look kind of dark. So somebody got one. He could see in his better than I can see in mine, and he thought maybe they were um okay, two phosphor bronze per side. I'm gonna take you guys' word for it. I thought that's but it feels really smooth like it could be Teflon, but I don't know. Whatever it is, I like it. The action's great on it. I mean it's not drop shutty or anything, but it's not really meant to be, so. All right, that's the consensus, phosphor bronze. I didn't know because he asked, are they Teflon? And I always thought they were phosphor bronze, but then the pictures he had, I was like, oh, maybe they are. So um, I don't know. So I thought I'd ask I'd ask the committee. Michael Eath, you took yours apart? Gasp. Gasp. 
Yeah, it is. They are really thin, especially on the Slim Mini. I mean, I, I can't see in there. I tried with the flashlight and everything, and I can't see anything. You took it apart, you legend. I would never, ever, ever, ever take mine apart, Michael E., but please email me where you got the tool to do so. Excuse me. Four sips of beer in, and I'm already hiccuping. Yeah, I'll never take it apart, but I would like to know where to buy a tool to take it apart. If, in theory, some criminal were to want to take it apart. They need more button lock flippers. I think they have another one in the works. I'm not really sure, though. Um, please share your thoughts on the Harkins. Uh, Dino, the Harkins is freaking amazing. Um, I've become quite a big ProTech fan. Actually, tomorrow on the channel is going to be a ProTech day. So if you're not a ProTech person, um, tune away. But it's not going to be all autos. It's not even going to be half autos. I'm going to do a video of my whole collection of ProTechs tomorrow morning. And tomorrow night will be my review of the brand new ProTech Malibu, which isn't even completely in stores yet. This is only the second full production one they made. Um, and I am... I'm in love. But somebody asked about the ATAC, so let's talk about that. Yeah, I'm a ProTech fan, and I... I was talking about the Malibu. While talking about the Malibu, I bought the Invictus. And um, I love that as well. And I think I have seven of them now. And uh, between actual Protex and then, you know, the Ferrum Forge one made by Protex, the Mordax. And I thought, yeah, I really want one. I said, how much are those? Uh, can I get one of those ATACs? How much would one of those be? And then um, he said, uh, oh, you know, we only make like... 100 150 of those every four years and i was like oh no i didn't i did not know that and uh, um he was like yeah they're pretty rare but yeah we'll sell you one but you only have these choices and he sent me the choices it was matt at protect great dude and i was like ah, i don't like any of those because they come in a whole bunch of different colors so i don't like those i want i really wanted a stone wash with the marble carbon and he said hey you know what i got one of those in my pocket so i'll sell it to you and he goes, I've only had it for two days. I haven't cut anything with it. I just took pictures with it. You can have it. And I'll just take one of the other ones. I was like, awesome. So I got it. And it is so buttery smooth in manual mode. No, oh, it's in auto mode right now because it's the last way I opened it. But in the manual mode, it's just so buttery smooth. Like, oh, my Lord. I was expecting it to either be kind of mediocre as a manual or kind of mediocre as an auto, I didn't think it would be good both ways. It is equally, equally, equally good both ways. So in auto mode, so you see I just open it manual, and then it closes manual. But there's a secret little hidden button that makes it open auto. You see just this piece rocks up, and it fires auto. I saw your question, O'Connor. I'll get to it in just a minute. Um, Fan freaking tastic, and I've handed it to between uh here at home and the comedy show last night. I handed it to like six, seven people, some of them actual knife guys. Nobody had any clue that it was an auto, they just thought it was a really great manual. But it has a secret, and I love that about it. That's just so freaking cool. And the blade is really nice 154 cm. I wouldn't mind seeing a better steel on it, but for 450 bucks, they are not inexpensive and they come and go quick and you have to wait four years to get another one but um beautiful knife very nice kind of bronzed out titanium pocket clip on it all milled and everything oh it's so nice i use it about 50 50 manual or auto i i really like it i mean i've only had it for a few days so i haven't used it a whole lot because i've been mostly carrying this malibu because i want to get Get my good opinion on that for the review. So the Malibu has been pretty much living in my pocket. Somebody asked about the Trade Me Anything video. Uh, probably coming up in uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. I honestly, I got a lot of offers, but there's only a couple I really want. And a couple of them are really, uh, the one I really want is really boring. So I've been having kind of, having kind of a uh, mental, um, mental struggle with it, which one I want to choose. So I, I can't decide. So that's why I haven't put it out yet. Um, I would like a drop point mail, but this is the Warren Cliff, and I think there's a reverse Tanto one that's coming out. Um, I don't know anything about a drop point though. 
up to 136 already. Nice. Completely foreboden here. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, no one would ever know, but I'm just saying. Theoretically, no one would ever know. Um, John, John Cottrell says, I want the reverse Tanto Malibu. Honestly, I had I could not decide between the two at all, so I was very happy when um, they made the decision for me because I said, I don't care. I don't even know. I'm probably going to flip a coin about which blade shape I want, and they said, well, the Warncliffe will get there, get there faster. And I said, all right, I want that one then. <laughs> so that's I just wanted the one I could get first. I'm like decision made. Made it better. But um yeah, this is a an amazing thing. Action on it is just superb. It's just just awesome. I'm and the ergos are great. Spoiler alert, this is going to be a very, very, very positive video. So um, did you list, miss the link for Mass? No, she didn't post it, but um, she has the store on pause right now anyway. It's like in vacation mode or something. So you can't order anything at the moment now anyway. Um, Ontario Rat. Yes, those are very nice. I don't know if you wanted to say more about that. but um, Uh, did you compare it to the Mordax in your view? Yeah, it's in uh, the, well, I haven't recorded it yet. I'm going to record it tomorrow because I've only had this for like three days. So I'm, I'm probably going to record that like midday tomorrow, but, um, uh, it's way, way, way smaller than a male, other than a Mordax for sure. But the action's pretty similar to what you see, uh, on a Mordax. I mean, it's, they're both made by ProTech. This one, I think I could loosen the pivot a little bit, but it has a very unique, um, Allen tool is like a weird American sized Allen tool for the pivot. And my one that I have that works for, for, for Protex got a little bit stripped out. And I don't want to take a chance on dinging it up. So I haven't done that. Uh, Freeman versus Malibu Battle to Death. They are so hugely different sizes, Joshua. That would make no sense whatsoever. Freeman versus Mordax might happen. But uh, versus this, there's just no. They are so completely different. It doesn't really make much sense to do that. Um, the Freeman is, uh, I like it. I know that a lot of you guys were really mean to it. You were really mean to it when I did my review of it. I like it. I think it's cool. It's, it, is it pretty? No, but I like it. I think it looks cool. Some things can look cool without being pretty. And uh, the action on it is just ridiculous. I really like it. Is the thickness behind the edge more akin to an axe? It, perhaps, but it's sharp. Still cuts things. Um, like the Watu. Yeah, you guys were mean to the Watu as well. I like the Watu. The Watu is one of my favorite things spider has made in a long time. Uh, what's the deal with the Freeman? Well, you got to be more specific. I just like it. Is Knife Rice doing anything about the insane knife restrictions here in NYC? Last, I think last year they got the gravity um, knife ban overturned. I know they're still working on New York City. <laughs> Professor EDC, hey Brian, or should I call you Dar Slicey? Well, first of all, you should spell my name right. It's B-R-Y-A-N. No, a Professor EDC calls me. We're often hanging out on the same live shows and he calls me Darth Slicey, which I don't hate. I don't hate that. Oh, Leland, I have the worst hiccups in the world. You can tell me anything you want. When I get hiccups, they are uncontrollable. That was just one hiccup and it went away. But when I get hiccups, there is no way to get rid of them. So, um, well, that Medford a lot. The Freeman, not so much, Justin says. Well, the Medford is beautiful and the Freeman is, uh, you, I, I like it. And the, not everyone has to be right all the time. The Heretic is the OTF version of the Freeman. Oh, the Heretic. This is, I have not properly carried this yet because i got so many cool knives in one day late last week and again like i said i want to spend a lot of time with the malibu um but this knife every time i see it i have to fire it i just have to every time i see it because this thing is holy crap like a mule more than a mule it kicks like a i don't know like a seamus brogue kick is that more than a mule it's a wrestling reference, but 
as I'm screwing it up. Oh my God, it fires so hard. And I love the Tanto. It's pretty thin behind the edge. It actually works as a knife. Um, just every time I look at it, I just have to fire it. If I see it, I take it out and fire it. Is there instructions how this works for? I never did one. I'll do, I'll, I already gave them earlier, but I will again in a few minutes. It doesn't start till 8.30. Um, but just the way that bangs. And I talked to Heretic on Instagram and I was like, it just hits so hard. And they said, yeah, because the spring inside there is actually almost twice as long as the knife when it's uncoiled. But um, it is it is amazing. Don't fire it too much. You might get a stress back fracture. John says, yeah, I might. It does give some shock through the wrist. Sweet chin music. Yes, that's a better one, Ty Addiction. I'm going to use that in the review. It kicks harder than sweet chin music. Any tips for compression lock stick? I have a few. Don't have it. One pair of three sticky. Nine times out of ten, Jeff, for any sort of lock stick is because the surfaces aren't clean. Almost nine times out of ten, that's what it is. Uh, uh, eat two two green olives and hiccups will be gone. I'd be dead though. I would have died from puking my guts out. I hate olives so much. I'd rather just die of hiccups than eat two olives. Um, Protex Strider fires hard. Yeah, the, all the Protex fire pretty hard. Um, yeah, ironically, I was putting knives away before this was a mistake. So the only two Protex I have out here are these two. The ATAC doesn't fire quite as hard as all the other Protex, but it still fires pretty hard. The Invictus and the, I'd say the SBR fires the hardest. This med first scales are crazy. Is that done by flame? Yes, according to the description on the uh, DLT site, that's what they were. Yeah, they're flame ano. So they start out they start out looking like that, and then they burn them like a witch, and they come out looking super sexy like this. Most witches don't when you burn them. Uh, let's switch some knives out really quick before I start the auction. So we'll bring out, what are some, here were two, two popular ones from the week that was. We'll put the Freeman away because not everybody loves it. And put out the uh, Sprint Run S45 PM2, which is uh, not going to look like this for too much longer. And uh, we'll put away the LUDT since you guys have seen that a hundred times. Put out the uh, Mini Hogritter RSK Mark 1 G2. Going to run on our breath saying that name. Uh, is the Protec Harkins a good slicer? Seems to be, yeah. I mean, I've, I've used it a, a little bit. Seems to be all right. It's that usual very thin blade stock. Protec always has amazing edges on them, so... Can't, can't imagine that it won't be. I can tell you for sure the Malibu is. I've been using the snot out of that the last couple of days, and it has been out-freaking-standing. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was it was weird. It was weird doing stand up in front of people sitting in their took me um about uh two minutes to get going. So if you guys go back and watch it, there is a link down below. First two minutes I felt I was kind of rushing myself. I hadn't been on stage in over two months, so that was the first problem. And then just having no feedback was kind of weird. But then I settled down. You just have to take a break and assume that people are laughing. So you take a break. I, I got to the jokes that I know and that I do all the time. And, um, uh, yeah. So it worked out. Randy says mini RSK versus CF Presidio. That is going to happen because, see, I, I got a regular uh, Benchmade Griptilian on the S30V with the intention to compare it to this because what sucks or what's weird is the price of the RSK sits directly between the S30V grip and the 20CV grip. And this is 20CV, and I don't know, spoiler alert, this was going to be either one of them anyway, because I'm not a huge Mini Griptilian fan. But then I think you're right. Since I got the uh, Mini Presidio CF Elite, I think it's a much better comparison. 
I actually have it right here. I don't know why I'm just talking about pointing at it off camera where you guys can't even see it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not that far off in size. They're pretty close. They're almost exactly the same price. It just makes much more sense to compare it to the Presidio. Is there another auto that you could do a battle to death with the Launch 11? Yes, um, that's pro I'm probably finally going to give the ProTech Newport some camera time. So, um, yeah, Zach, the Mini Presidio CF Elite is pretty awesome. You kept telling me that, and I was like, yeah, I like the full-size one. I don't need the Mini, and then you sent me the Mini, and I'm like, yeah, no, I think I like the Mini better. But see you later, Ty Addiction. Thanks for coming out. Um... I will let the committee answer that, Alex. There are a whole lot of choices. Alex, Sashka, Dunyev. Um, seen the Mini Freak in S90V and CF? Yes, I have one pre-order somewhere, and I have someone else trying to track me down for one. Hopefully I don't have to use the pre-order. But um, we will see. 308-562, it would be a good match, but I already gave away the 308. So um, that is gone. Going to uh, use my vapey thing for a moment and re answer your questions until we start this uh, this auction. I know there's nothing fun in it. It's just nicotine. I don't know much about CJRB except watching two to four videos. My uh, I have two CJRBs in um, Customs Limbo right now. Pre-order to Yojumbo. I put one of the notify me when they're available things for the Yojumbo, for the, what is the one that has like a, I don't remember the name of it. It's like a, kind of like a Delica, but better steel or whatever. And I have one of the S45 VN ones. I can't, or, or the, uh, sorry, the Spy 27 ones. Have you tried writ dyeing those scales yet? Oh, kind of you asking on the, uh, the PM2? No, I'm not going to because I want to keep it stock uh, so I can resell it if I want to. So I ordered custom scales for it. I'll talk more about that when the, once we get the auction up and going. <coughs> but you'll be seeing this in a video. I have some scales coming from Sharp Dress Knives. Hello, First AM. Thanks for coming on. Sorry, I was quiet for a moment. Hello, Women Carry Knives. I actually, uh, if I don't remember by the, like, this evening, Women Carry Knives, uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I want to talk to you about something. I'm vaping too, not nicotine. I'm in Colorado. Well, God bless you, sir. Has it XM18 been used? Kind of. It went through uh, Metal Complex and I for reviews, but um, it's, you're not, you know, there's no way you could possibly know that, um, that it's been used. What beer are you drinking? It's a Bitburger. I'm missing Germany lately, so uh, drinking on that. Oh no, neutron scales. No, I haven't gotten it yet. That's also trapped in shipping somewhere, Ocon. The freaking neutrons like stuck somewhere. It just says in transit. It was supposed to be here like Thursday, and it just says in transit, arriving at next designation. So, or next destination. Okay, so we're two minutes from when I'm going to start the auction. So how the auctions here go, first rules are, I'm just explain, this is, I have $350 into this knife, so that's what I want back out of it. It retails for $425. Anything else beyond the $350, then that all goes to kniferights.org. Yes, bitte ein bit. Um, I still have one of those stickers on my car. Uh that all the profits over 350 go to kniferice.org. Uh, I do have another uh, skinny coming tomorrow with a grayscale that I'm not going to use because I'm uh, going to put the blue scale that I also have for this on that. So if it goes over 500, which is about what the price of a uh, of an XM18 skinny and the replacement scale goes for, then you will get both scales. I'm still giving all the money to the knife rights, so don't worry about that. And I don't, the edge on it is absolutely perfect, but if you do want me to sharpen it just to make sure, I'll do that. 
that's no problem. I don't mind doing that. I'll sharpen it off. So it is not one of the COVID versions. It is just a regular with the green scale. And if it goes over 500, it comes also with a gray scale. So, and the, their gray jeans and actually looks pretty darn cool. So I'm going to start the bidding right now at, we'll start it at 300. So at $300, anything over 350, all the profits go to kniferights.org, which is an amazing organization. So start with your bids. I'm going to run the bids for 20 minutes. 350 for Eric Bowers back there, with the aardvark standing in the corner. So 375 to, jo to Josh Pochman. Wearing Pochin. Wearing a wedding dress for some reason. So um, we'll get a, so far it's Josh Pochin, but a 400 to Joshua Rape, an unfortunately named man in the back there. That is our highest bid so far. Robert Duran, 410. The man in the back with three legs, Robert Duran. 420 to Christopher Smith. 15 rolls of toilet paper. I, that, that's not, I, I couldn't possibly accept that. Um, 425 to Josh Pachan. Yeah, $5 increments. Yeah, I always forget to say that. Thanks for reminding me, Randy. $5 increments. Five dollar increments. So we have four thirty to Joshua Ray. Five dollar increments. Four fifty to Christopher Smith is the high bidder right now. I'm gonna bust out the pen so I can write these down. And Robert Duran at four fifty five. This is going well. So we already got 105 bucks to uh, 460 to Joshua again. Um, and also, I'm gonna pay this money through their their little uh, contest that you can the ultimate steal contest that you can win stuff. So if I win something, because it's gonna go through in my name because I'm paying through my PayPal account. But if the if it, if we win one of the amazing prize packages they have, you get that. I'm not going to keep that. It'll go to the, whoever this the winner of this is. So um, keep that in mind as well. Four sixty is our current high bid, and we're going to end this at eight fifty. And then we'll chat about some NAF some more. Somebody did ask what the knife on top was. This is the Protec Malibu? That is tomorrow evening's review. Tomorrow is a Protec day here because I'm doing my Protec like whole collection of Protecs and then uh, doing the um, the Malibu review. Knives got some stuff. Oh one four seventy five. Brandishing a blunderbuss back in the corner. I think we're down to a four-person race here unless somebody jumps in. 475 is a very strong bid. Remember, if it hits 500, you also get the gray scale along with it. So you can scale swap it. If you have the tools, take a hinder apart. But you don't really need them. You can just make them. It's not that hard. Don't tell Rick I told you that. 480 to Joshua. Hey, everybody, hey, everybody, hey, everybody. Hey, anybody else? 480 to Joshua. We'll save the real hardcore voice till we get down towards the end. Oh, I'm back. Are we bidding? Yes, we are. The bid is currently 480 to Joshua. Question, is this the only one up for sale? Yes, this is the only one I'm doing tonight. Just this one. Lavender Pants. My good friend and still owner of one of the best best uh <laughs> um uh names on on youtube i do say i like lavender pants a whole lot if, if i if i would have thought of that and had another account i'd probably be lavender pants something or other lavender pants has a package on his way to him he's another person who ordered a whole bunch of masks Kiefer, I love the gazebo, man. Yeah, I saw you build a gazebo today, Kiefer. That's like man stuff. I don't do things like that. I don't own my house either, though, so that's a big part of the reason. 
See you later, Ocon. Thanks for coming and hanging out. The Super Chat is open if anyone wants to kick in a few shekels. And you guys keep asking me, and I hope some people have come and gone. If you guys, people ask me, want to see me do comedy, uh, if you can click down below, there's a link to a very um, unique uh, stand up set I did last night. Um, I did live stand up in front of people sitting in their cars. We set up a drive in theater for stand up, and it was a whole lot of fun. I got gray pants. Can't see me. <laughs> Invisible pants. That's what I. That's what they call me. I don't know, I don't know why I did that in auctioneer voice. And if anybody hasn't done these auctions before, why do I do my auctioneer voice in a 1920s newsman voice? There is no reason. I don't know why. That's just what I do. Oh, I got to catch up on a bid here and write it down. Because it's cool. Well, yeah, you're right, Nick. That's why I do it. Hey, Therapeutic Edge. How's it going? Good to see you out here. Yeah. 40 to Joshua. The man with the wooden leg and the middle arm sitting in the front row. Uh, therapy guys asked how I'm doing, so I'll, I'll answer. I'm doing all right. It's been okay. It's uh, been weird getting used to this new job, that's for sure. You're running an entire magazine. is uh, It's work. It's like a job. So, um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been odd. Our record is 193, and we usually... It starts rocketing up about 8.30, 8.40, so we will see how that goes. Um, hey, Russ. Uh, woman Karen knows, how's the baby doing? I assume you're not talking to me. I do not have a baby child. Both of my, both of my children are old enough to vote, and one is going to be old enough to drink, like, in a couple weeks. Ah, I get it. Yeah, the, how's the new gig? It's um, it's very exciting and very fun and, and endlessly confusing. I keep getting emails about for me to approve things that I didn't know I was responsible for approving. So that's always interesting. And uh, sometimes I say no, and people don't like that. But that's the same with any job. So um. I have a t-shirt old enough to drink. Does that count? I have several t-shirts that are old enough to drink. I have I have probably four jackets that are old enough to drink. Um, what drink will you have with her? It's my son, actually. He's the one turning 21. And he, he can't go out, obviously, because of the, the quarantine. And he's very upset about it. So he's decided, and I don't know how this is going to go, because he doesn't drink much. He's, I know he's underage. He's not supposed to at all, but whatever. They do. You know they do. But that's not his thing. So he doesn't drink hardly at all, and um, he wants to sit around and drink whiskey and watch Guy Ritchie movies. So um, with me and my wife, and all right, good luck, dude. So um, yeah, he wants to watch The Gentleman and drink whiskey, and uh, then we're going to make him watch Snatch, too, because he hasn't seen that, so... Um, yeah, it'll be it'll be it'll be interesting to see how uh, see how he handles it. Cuz I don't think he wants to, I'm not going to let him go drink for drink with the old man cuz the old man has some experience, but um it'll be fun. He can't go out, so you like tags? It's not for me, it's for my ma. Uh lockstick on what? He'll be spilling the tea. Hope he knows that's true, Sam. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, my wife drinks whiskey. It makes it does give her true serum. So, um, the gentleman is great. He's already seen it once, but he wants to watch it with me and wants to drink whiskey. I haven't seen it yet. I just haven't had time to sit down and watch a whole movie. I did finish Star Wars Rebels season seven, though. That's gonna be amazing. Or that was amazing. I, I can't believe anything else they do with Ahsoka in it. I'm in, I'm down. That was awesome. The high bid right now for the hinderer is uh, to Joshua Rape for uh, four hundred eighty dollars. 
Lock stock, if, if, he, if he stays awake that long, we'll go lock stock too. I kind of like snatch better than lock stock. I know it's not the pop, popular thing, but... um. R.I.P. Star Wars The Clone Wars, one of the best TV shows, period. It, I always liked it, um, but I didn't love it. I liked Rebels better, but the last four episodes of the last season of Clone Wars was, holy crap, that should have been a movie. Oh, the lightsaber fight between Ahsoka and Darth Maul is like, this is the best lightsaber fight ever in Star Wars, and it's animated, but holy crap, that was good. Oh my god, it's so good. And it ended, like, no spoilers, but the last 12 minutes of Clone Wars, no one speaks. And it is awesome. It's so good. How's about Formula 51? I don't know what exactly you're referring to. Um... What is your favorite EDC on the table using cap locks to catch your attention? Um, uh, just for EDC stuff? Uh, I don't know. Between everything here right now, probably the Malibu or the uh, Mini RSK. But they're both new. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get, yeah, we'll get bourbon. I think I'm going to get a bottle of Maker's Mark. Yeah, that, that, that's my go-to. I don't drink whiskey as much as I used to, but when I do drink whiskey, I drink bourbon, and I, I'm half Irish, half Scottish. I know I'm supposed to drink other stuff, but I don't. I drink American, like Kentucky bourbon. Johnny Black isn't awful. Probably just going to get a bottle of Maker's Mark. Did you know no music and no country for all? I've never watched No Country for Old Men. I'm weird. Basil Hayden is really good, too. Ah, that's a good shout. Maybe I should get Basil Hayden. I don't know. Um, <laughs> old Crow. I should start him off right and get him... Uh, what's the what the old man name? Oh, what is it? No, it's not Wild Turkey. What's the one with... like? It's like... I can't remember the name. It's like Angry Grandpa or something like that. It's terrible stuff. Old Granddad. Yeah, I should get him a bottle of Old Granddad. <laughs> Start him off right. Make him puke for two days. I think his birthday does fall on a weekday. He doesn't need to be worked till 10 o'clock in the morning, but still, I don't want to... Angry Grandpa. I really thought that might be the name for a minute. So we have eight minutes left on the auction. We are currently at $480 to Joshua Rape. We're only $20 away from somebody getting a free scale. So even... Joshua, if you want to kick in another 20 bucks and get a free uh, grayscale alongside alongside the green one, let me know, and I will do that. I think I started get, drinking Maker's Mark when I was, like, uh, first turned 21 because it had the wax on it, so I thought it looked cool. Knob Creek is awesome, too. Knob Creek's my second favorite. But, uh... I started getting Maker's Mark because it had the wax on it, so I thought it was probably really expensive. Knives, Guns, and Stuff has just kicked up to $500. He is the new leader. In the front row of the blunderbuss, I think is what I said for him, because it said guns in his name. So let me write that down so I do not forget it. So now we are into freescale territory. So I don't have the grayscale yet. It arrives tomorrow, which means this won't ship out till Tuesday. But, um... So what's everybody carrying today? That's always a good question to ask. We have six minutes left on the auction, by the way. Current leader is Knives, Guns, and Stuff of $500. I carried the uh, the Malibu today because Mini RSK, you got one too. Awesome. Riyadh Valhalla. I had one of those for a while, Therapeutic Edge, and I sold it, and I... I do kind of regret it sometimes. That was a really cool knife. I bought it on an impulse. Joshua Rape, $505 is now the leader. I can't remember what I put down for all of your weird names, so.
for a really good bourbon, try Hill Rock is made in Hudson Valley, New York. I'd never heard of that one. I'll have a look see. I know one of my local liquor store liquor stores has a huge wide like bourbon selection, so. And they actually have like somebody who consults you and things. I'll probably let him go there and just let him pick whatever he wants, but Um, and I have no idea what else we're getting for his birthday. I have no freaking clue. It's so hard to buy presents for, for like adult boys. Five, ten to knives, guns, and stuff. Run out of room on paper. I'm going to flip the page and just assume that it's probably coming down to those two. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to write down because I ran out of room on that page. And I will give you payment instructions, and I suggest highly that you read them thoroughly. I sold four knives over the weekend on Patreon, and three out of four paid me the wrong way and cost me a lot of money. So I would. Really rather people don't do that. I've been carrying the name Chief all day. Big knife day. Yeah, those are big. I actually just traded mine. So I, I had a native Chief. It's good. It's, it all snuggled away in a little box. That's what I traded for the knife that is going to pick this. That and another knife. So I'm, I'm here late. Is that a skinny? Yes, it is. It is the skinny skinner in the high bed right now is $510, which means it comes with another scale and all the profits above uh 350 go to kniferights.org so that means right now we're looking at a very healthy donation of 160 dollars to kniferights.org hinder full track and a protec invictus that's not a bad combination i never had a full track i've almost bought one several times but now they're gone I don't think he's making any more. Last I heard, he's not making any more, but there's still a few out there. I know Southern Edges has them. Oh, I'm glad I could be of help, KG Blade, to make you spend money on uh, three knives in one day. <laughs> so. Yep, we got three minutes left. The high bid right now is... Knives, guns, and stuff for $510. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the top ProTec model in the Slim Mini. Well, the top ProTec model is the Malibu. That is going to be re fully reviewed tomorrow night, so I'm going to be a jerk and make you wait for that. Um, but the Slim Mini is very, very nice. I like it a whole lot. I've not been able to carry it much because like, I've been focusing on the Malibu because I want to get that review done. But uh, pretty cool. You can spidey flick it. Sometimes it's not super easy to do. You can thumb flick it. But uh, um, I really like it. It is what the name says. It's slim, especially for a ProTech. So uh, I I really enjoy it. And it looks freaking gorgeous. And it's S90V, which I do not like sharpening. But other than that, I love S90V. I call S90V a steel that is someone else's problem meaning that when it gets to a point that it really I, I, i'll strop it i'll touch it up but if it needs to be properly resharpened um that's someone else's problem i send that off to one of my many friends that are very good at sharpening <laughs> and i well i will happily pay them to do it i don't i'm not doing it i don't want to sit there forever and ever and ever see you later triple e yeah, Knife Rights is doing pretty good this year, I hope. Because when all this is over, I know that a lot of uh, legislative branches have more important things to worry about at the moment, obviously. But when this is all over with, I, I want them to get back on getting some of these ridiculous laws overturned. Yeah, LBM M4 is not too bad. It just takes a while. It's not difficult, though. S90V takes a long time and is difficult, both at the same time. So, uh, and it takes a really long time. 
Yeah, I have an S90V uh, 940 as well, D DWF. And um, that's another one that would be someone else's problem if it needs to be fully resharpened. What are the best sharpeners for sharpening super steels? Anything with diamond stones. You just have to have diamond stones to get started on. Anything like 20s V, you know, 204P, M4, all that stuff. Diamond stones help out a whole lot. And so right now we are... I'm going to give it one more minute because I didn't announce it. So I'm going to give it one more minute. Knives, Guns, and Stuff is leader at 510. So as soon as my clock turns 851, that's what we're going to do. I believe he is the winner. And yes, Knives, Guns, and Stuff is the winner. $510. Email me at SliceyDicey75 at gmail.com. The second I get your email, and this is, well, the second this is over, I will reply to you. Thank you so much. Knife Rights is going to get a very healthy donation. You're also going to get the gray scale, which I think is vastly superior to the green one. <laughs> but anyway, I'll send that along to you as well. So you'll have both scales for it. So you can swap and change to your heart's content. Thank you so much for your very generous bid. Uh, if you don't pay... Within, uh, I'm going to say, like, uh, you know, by, like, noon tomorrow, then I am going to um, pass it on to Joshua Rape. So you please email me as well, Joshua, if you're still on here. It's just so I have your email address. So um, what will Knife Rights use the donation for? For helping to fight for our rights to be able to carry the knives that we want to be able to carry. The same thing they do. And if I am going to put it in through that uh, Ultimate Steel competition thing, so or giveaway thing, so... Um, if you, if I win something because I donated with your money, then you get it. So everybody might get something yet. And if you didn't, couldn't afford to buy the knife, yeah, there's a link down below to knife rights. I made sure to include that in here. So please jump in and do that. So, uh, are you still on here? Knives and guns and stuff. I just want to see you say something. So I know that you acknowledge that you won. Uh, yep. Okay, cool. So you got that. Yeah, shoot me an email. And uh, the very second we are done, first thing I will do is is email you with all the payment instructions. So it's not complicated, but just make sure you do it right. Because otherwise, I'm going to lose a lot of money. Because my PayPal account, I also have a uh, PayPal, um, what do they call it? One of those loans for um, a business loan thing through PayPal. And if you pay me regular... It's going to take out 25% of it to pay off a loan that I don't need to pay off that I'm way, 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 way paid ahead on. So cannot, you have to pay friends and family. If you have not done that before, um, then we'll find another way to pay. I want you, it has to be because I don't want 25% of it taken out because it's a lot of money. Um, but, uh... Ready for Maxima? Oh, I don't even want, I would never sharpen Maxima. I just, someday, maybe, like, you know, 20 years from now, I feel confident doing that, but right now, I'm like, no, I don't want to. But yeah, thanks again to Knives, Guns, and Stuff. That is a very generous offer for this knife, so. Um, and, and it is, the profits are going to a very good cause. And uh, Doug Ritter himself even, like, commented on my little post on the Instagrams and and uh, said thank you already, so. Mm. And yeah, I hope you win something too. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't that be so cool if he bought the knife for a very generous offer and then also won some other stuff? That would be really cool. It's easier than stalking USA Main Booth to get one. Yeah, well, you know, with what's going on, they're getting them through. But he, he said he was going to have new ones every week. I don't know if the next ones are the COVID ones or not. So I see, have you heard of the American Blade Works Model 1? I have. Recent, there's a group of people I chat with on Instagram, and we've been talking about it. And yeah, I do, I do kind of want to get one of those. That's a really interesting looking knife to me. It's like that one with like the milled kind of swoopy sort of handles. See you later, Engineer's Daily Care. I guess if you're leaving, that's what it sounds like. 
have one on the way. Should we do this? Oh yeah, definitely let me know how that is, because I'm I'm curious about it. Of the people I chat with, one guy loves it and one guy hated it. So um But the guy who hates it hated it hates a lot of things, so uh let's let's switch some knives around here before we wrap give this like another 15 minutes so put this away because i already reviewed it everything i have within arm's reach i already reviewed oh here's one i haven't reviewed yet here's two i haven't reviewed yet these will be coming up this week i think i can fit both these on we have the launch 11 really really like the launch 11 spoiler and uh, one that's, I think, just kind of neat. This is the Finch Runtley. Kind of a neat little thing. If you handle one of the Spartan Blades button locks. I have not yet, but I'm supposed to be meeting with them this week, virtually, obviously. And uh, hopefully I will be uh, getting my hands on something. We will see. Is the knife on the far right a Halo clone? No, it is not. This is actually made by Anthony Marfion's son. Owns the company. So um it is a single action, but it's it's a lot. It's a lot different than a Halo. But um no, this is Anthony Marfion's son. Um I like it. It's ridiculous. But it's super cool. Every time I touch it, I have to do that. I just have to fire it every time I see it. Curious about the peel of the Launch 11 hand handle. It's just an excellent little EDC size. It still kicks really hard. Excellent steel, really good value. It's. I think it looks cool as hell. I just, there's not really much to just like about it, honestly. It's just if you like autos that are, no, no it's, it's 2.75 inches. It's not like super small, but it's on the smallish side. But um, the ergos still work really great. I mean, I have normal size hands and fit on there perfectly fine um yeah the launch 11 is just really really nice what happened between those two i don't know i just i i think he just i never heard any there's any problems i think he just started his own company are you going to review Tech? yes i will uh, eventually but it's not a it's not a priority um because they're they're kind of you know pretty hard to get so i think even if i if I rushed a review, I think they'd still probably all be gone by the time I did it. I will say that I did put my first mark on it, though. I don't think it's quite a scratch. No, it already came off because I was rubbing on it before the show and it came off. I thought I put a scratch on it, but I guess I didn't. Oh, a little bit of one. I put a little bit of a scratch on it, so it's mine now. I can never sell it. Oh, boo-hoo. How do you like the Finch? It's pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to carry it yet. This is from the pass around. Um, it's it's kind of neat. It's a, definitely a three-finger knife, but cuts really well. It's, you know, N690 steel. I like N690 all right. Nice pocket clip. Action's very, very smooth. It's very snappy. It's just kind of a cool little thing. See that Protect Wister's magic? I need a fix since I can't get one. Is it within arm's reach? Let me look. Yes, it is. Kind of. As I just screw up opening it. Yeah, this is the magic. I like the magic a whole lot too, so. It's very fun. It doesn't kick quite as hard as my other Protex, but I still love that little weird. That's why I like both of these, the ATAC and this is... I mean, the ATAC you can open manually, and anybody can figure out how to do that, but no one knows how to open either of these auto mode. Like, nobody knows how to open the magic, period. And then nobody knows how to open this in the auto mode when you hand them to them. It's a lot of fun. Ahoy, what I miss? Everything! You missed everything. The Newport is beautiful, yes. The Newport is my most carried of my Protex. I will say that tomorrow. Although the Malibu is probably going to surpass that because it's a manual as well, so it's legal more places. But um, currently, the Newport is the uh, Protex I carry the most often, for sure. Just grabbed the Champagne and Black DLC Microtech LUT after watching your review on them. Seriously, my favorite story. Oh, the LUT is awesome. I just put mine away. It was out earlier, but I had it out earlier. 
Newport tuxedo. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I might, if I ever can catch a Newport with a rose gold blade, I would probably uh, sell my current Newport and switch over to that. Eight dollars for the chicken. Thanks for watching my show last night. I appreciate that, David. Yeah, that's one of my jokes he's quoting there. So if you guys want to watch that show, it is linked down below, and you can still give money to a good cause. It's explained what the cause is nine different times during the show. But um, uh, what's your favorite pro so far? Now you in a bunch. I the Malibu is making a really good impression, and so is the ATAC. Those are still pretty new. Uh, I still like in the full-on autos. The SBR is probably still my favorite. It's just fun. Um, so am I getting the Arc Form slip foot, Slim Foot Auto? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, if one shows up and I fall in love with it, maybe I'll buy it. But um, I'm not seeking one out. What's your favorite OTS? Uh, probably the Protec SBR, like I just said. So, um, any butterfly knives? No, I had a Kershaw for a minute, and it's just not my jam. BRS is talking about sending me some stuff. Maybe I'll ask him to send me another one, just a one of theirs, because I hear they're really great. So that thought has crossed my mind. Oh no, Justin, you cut yourself. You need to get a band aid for your boo boo. I'm so sorry. Check out the uh, tropos. I will take a look. Uh, so which hindered you yourself here? I sold off this. This is the uh, Skinny Skinner. You know, maybe like exclusive. I guess I should probably put it away since it's sold. So uh, we'll set that one aside. And I'll replace it with, surprise, another hinderer. The Half-Track Warning. Another USA May Blade exclusive one. I've seen... I've seen one, auto, the only auto butterfly I've seen was the uh, artisan one, but that's not a knife. It's like a multi-tool when you open it. It's not a, uh, it's not a sharpened blade. You like the Eclipse? I do. I like the Eclipse very much. I don't have it at the moment, but um, can I bring out the Roka? I don't know if it's around. It is. I have most of my cake. Case is open behind me right now because I'm reorganizing things because I got another one. Ah, uh, what will we put away? I'll put away the heretic S. Ooh, the skinny is gone. Good things another one on the way. Yes, there is. It arrives on the morrow, and yours are going out to replace. I even sold the scale already. I said if it passed 500 bucks, I'd also throw in the gray scale because I'm putting my blue one on it. So, um. Holy, what in the Warren Cliff is that, Batman? It is a uh, half track, a Hinder half track USMA Blade exclusive. So, you must like the Jurassic better than the XM18 skinny. Well, I'm replacing my XM18 skinny with another XM18 skinny, but, um. No, I do like the Jurassic overall better than any XM18. It is. Uh, it just fits my hands better. I would show it to you, but it's across the room because I just got done swapping it back to the um, the micarta scale. I put the carbon one on it for a minute, but I like the micarta one better. Everyday carry says, uh, my, "Your waypoint's coming tomorrow. Congratulations! The waypoint's awesome. Definitely need to get a SoCom Elite. Yes, you do. Yes, you do." And I'm just going to uh, make you feel bad because you don't have one because mine's right here. So it was on deck for knives tonight. I thought I might break out. Moment of silence. Yeah. Nothing sounds like that. I found my hands to be much bigger than most. My, my like palms are big, but my fingers are pretty normal. Yes, a skinny Jurassic would be awesome. I would be so, so pleased. Thank you very much, Anchor DDC. That is awesome. How do you feel about Medford? I'm looking at the Micro Praetorium, but also Jurassic and Small Spenza. Bad thing is, I want all three. Uh, I just got this Slim Midi, and I really like it a lot. Uh, this is the first Medford I've owned. I'm probably going to be adding a uh, 
Slim Praetorian or Praetorian Slim, whichever way they say it, to the, the fleet as well. I like the Slims a whole lot. The big ones are kind of big. Uh, but also that Praetorian, what is it, the Praetorian X or the Praetorian whatever, the newest version, also still looks very tempting. Uh, Waypoint is pretty much knife of the year so far, front runner by a mile. I don't know, the Malibu is pretty darn good. It's going to be really hard to choose Knife of the Year. I am going to do mid-year top 10 Knives of the Year in no particular order like I usually do. And I'll do the top 10 over 100 and top 10 under 100 like I always do. Um, so look for that probably uh, beginning of June. Any Todd Bag custom reviews coming up? Uh, Bing's Buttery asks, uh, no, I don't really do customs that much. If one falls in my lap and I can review it, I will, but I don't seek them out. SOCOM Elite or ProTech SNG Operator. I have never held the ProTech SNG Operator, so I don't know. But I really like the SOCOM Elite. Women Carry Knives. Are you going to Blade Show? I would call it at this point highly unlikely. I think the whole show is kind of highly unlikely, but uh, we shall see. But I'm not going, even if it happens. I don't think. Unless things get miraculously better. But if things are even close to the way they are right now, I'm, I'm not going. Yeah, I canceled my reservation. Yeah, I know it's moved to August, but I don't think it's even happening then. I have no inside information. I just think that it isn't. And I know a lot of um, exhibitors aren't going, so... Doesn't KI need a presence at Blade Show? True Bullion says not this year. Um, yeah, I, I kind of thought they were going to force me to go, and they said no. It was my decision, and my decision is unless things are, I, I can drive there, so I can go like the last minute. So, uh, yes, I heard the same thing, Joshua. I wasn't going to name him by name, but yeah, there's a lot of people saying they're not going. So. Um, I think they're going to have enough exhibitors drop out that they don't do it. Now, if Blade Show West happens, I'll probably go because that's October. So that'll be fine. I won't worry about that. But New to this knife world, I've learned so much from your videos. Great content. Keep it going, says I, Thomas. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's got a weird email title that distracted me, but uh, da, 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 oh, it's nothing. All right. Yeah. Blade West, if it happens, I'll go. Um, I think I'll feel safe enough to travel by then, but August is uh, it's pushing it. I got a family at home to worry about. I don't want to bring any nastiness back, so... And it's, you know, 10,000 people, like, that go through there. I'm sure a lot of people will still come if they have it, but I don't think there's going to be that many, that many exhibitors. Not like there used to be, anyway. Oh, you're in Rochester, DWF? Cool. I have lots of local guys. Uh, Blade Show be like going to the gym. Everyone touching the same things. Right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Farmington. Yeah, that's that's where all my stuff stops on my when I'm frantically checking FedEx. It goes out for delivery in Farmington. And I know it's close because it usually gets here like in a couple hours after it goes out for delivery. Thank you, Lavender Pants, very much. That is a very nice, very nice little uh, generous kick-in. Uh, I think we probably should start wrapping it up here. So I uh, hope everybody has a very good night and has, has had a very good weekend and stays safe. And thanks again to Knives, Guns, and Stuff. Please shoot me an email, Tooth Sweet, and I will send you all of the uh, payment instructions. 
and you can uh, you can purchase your new Skinny Skinner Hinderer XM18. So thank you guys again so much. I've been Brian. Have a good one.